Let's get right into the top headlines and the top news story. Salesforce buys its way into e-commerce. Now, earlier this month, CMS Connected X reported on Salesforce buying its way into e-commerce with the Demandware acquisition. Now, the largest deal in history for $2.8 billion in cash. Now, quote, Demandware is an amazing company. The global cloud leader, the multi-billion dollar digital e-commerce market, said uh, Mark Benioff, chairman and CEO of Salesforce, saying, continuing saying, with Demandware, Salesforce will be well positioned to deliver the future of e-commerce as part of our customers' successful platform and create yet another billion dollar cloud. So, Scott, kind of give me an overview of this, if you will. Sure. Yeah. I mean, this is a this is first of all, I'm bullish on this on this deal. I think this is a great move. Um, but to summarize. That you mentioned the, the, the big particulars here, $2.8 billion. Um, the revenue in 2015 was about $237 million, however. Now, a lot of that was recurring revenue, which is wonderful subscription. However, that's a 13x, uh, that's a 13x multiplier. Yeah. And so many will point at Benny off and say, well, he really stretched here, he really overpaid. Um, typically, you see, you know, seven to nine X or something like that, and so people say that he's paid a billion dollars, maybe more than yeah. he necessarily needed to, and that somebody must have been there driving that up. I think what he gets in Demandware, however, is. Um, First of all, a big client base. There's a lot of clients that they have. Second of all, it's a big big B2C player in the commerce business. And so to go and pair that up, uh, an e-commerce platform that's big in the B2C space, to pair that up with a CRM platform, I think is a really good notion. We can criti critique that a little bit, and we will in the coming moments, but I think it's a great at the outset. Well, I was going to say, one of the things we talked about off camera is you said you have a theory about this. You have a theory, you know, kind of what really happened here. Explain that to me a little bit more. Yeah, so my theory is, and We've talked about this, and by the way, um, Jill Finger Gibson wrote about this on our website, on DCG's uh, website, but um, my theory is a little bit different. Folks say that Adobe must have been the ones driving this up because those are the two big players here that are kind of building out this marketing ecosystem um, that have yet to really both buy, jump on a, on a, on a commerce platform. Uh, my answer, though, is I actually don't think so. I think that this was Microsoft was probably the bidder. Um, and I think that, um, in fact, the LinkedIn deal only fuels me to think, to believe that even further. The reason I think so is if we, if, if we think back just a couple of years ago, Nadella, or it was 18 months ago, Nadella tried to bid uh, for Salesforce. He tried to buy Salesforce. And at the time, Benioff um, basically asked for $15 billion more. I wouldn't doubt, you know, to go get, go like this and go overpay so much that Benioff went to his board and basically said, listen, I can get us that extra money if I get what Nadella really wants so badly, which is this commerce platform. We all know that what Microsoft is trying to do is build up their CRM thing. They're kind of viewed many times now in the cloud, at least, as second in line with their Dynamics platform. So I think they, too, were looking for the Demandware platform as to kind of get them there. And they had a very big um, B2C base of customers as well. So I think this was Benioff uh, trying to fend off Nadella. Um, the thing that I say to support that is we've also heard in that LinkedIn deal that in fact it was Benioff that upbid that bid up Nadella. We'll talk about that later. Okay. But that's come out actually since then, since okay. this information. Interesting. Very interesting for sure.